This is question number 7, 2020 KCSE Mathematics Paper 2. In the figure below, O is the center of the circle and N is a point on the circumference. So we have our circle here and uh, the two points O and N. Using a ruler and a pair of compass only, construct a, a tangent NM to the circle at N. So we drop, a, 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 we, we make a tangent here. Another tangent to the circle intersecting with NM at 60 degrees. Uh, so when you are given a construction question, uh, it is good first of all to make a sketch so that you can have an idea of how you go about it. So let's make another circle here. And uh, here is the center O, here it is a point N. So to to make a perpendicular, to, to make a tangent, we are going to drop a perpendicular a line here, then we can make a, a tangent here by constructing an angle of 90 there. From there, we are supposed to construct another tangent that makes an angle of 60 here. So, how do we construct? We can draw a line joining that point uh, so it means this angle will be 30 and this will be 30. If this angle is 30, this is 90, it means this angle here it is 60. So if we construct an angle of 60 at this point, then we will be able to get where the point M is. So once we get the point M, we can construct the, the, the tangent, the other tangent. So that's how the process that we are going to do. The instructions are you use a ruler and a compass so that is what you are supposed to do uh, so I first of all bring my ruler this is my ruler and uh, I'll draw a line here so I'll drop a perpendicular line here uh, join or not uh, a line joining the two points so once I do that uh, I'm going to use uh, my compass to be able to construct an angle of 90 here. So we can, uh, so to, to make an angle of 90, uh, what you do is uh, we can make two points here and use them to, so let's make a mark here and also on the other side. Uh, once we have that, we can uh, we can now be able to use uh, that point and uh, get a point here so we do that uh, we do that then we have uh, another mark here so with the n and that mark there we should be able to get uh, a straight line so what we do here is uh, we get uh, we get the tangent now so we make that point uh, these two points uh, we can extend it and uh, uh, we use that point now we draw we draw a line <coughs> okay so we have obtained our tangent that is a tangent that is required can place it there now I have said we construct an angle of 60 at this point so what we do is we use a compass uh, to come and uh, you place your compass here and uh, can make it a bit smaller and we we make a mark here so we use that mark we want to construct an angle of 60 so we make another mark here we shift our and we make another mark here so once you have now that mark we will be able to to make the angle of 60 so we join that point uh, that is uh, we may you join this point here and the one that we have identified so that will make an angle of 60 and uh, 
it is going to help us get the angle of 60 so that is where we will construct an angle of a line joining that exactly at the actually it has come to the point where the other line is so this angle here is 60 this angle here is 30 and this is the position of M so if we now come and uh, draw we can now come use our ruler and use the point M to draw the tangent so we have our point M is there and using a ruler we can be able to draw the tangent so with that we now have our tangent so that is a tangent that we are required to to draw so it means that this angle is 30 degrees so combination of these are two angles is 60 we another tangent to the circle intersecting with m at 60 uh, then uh, this is the angle 60 the whole of that angle so that's how you uh, work out that question using a compass and a ruler and you'll be able to get three marks when you are doing uh, it using your geometrical set that is your ruler and uh, the compass it is easier because you will be able to move faster when constructing these angles and perpendicular lines